Hello everybody and welcome to the top 10 monster banners. This is going to be stinking awesome. <laughs> Oops, shoot, I didn't even realize I had that on. But this is going to be really cool. It's been a while since I did top 10 banner episodes, so I'm really, really hyped. But first off, I need to test my archery skills. Oh, come on, come on. I know it's good. No, am I this bad? Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so there we go. We're going to destroy that real quick before I try to aim for that next one. But we have another really cool top 10 banners for you guys today. They all are pretty cool monsters. I've shown a couple in the um, top 10s in the past. However, I like to do these new episodes where I just kind of do the top 10 of a specific kind. So here we go. We got monsters. Um, I don't even... I normally go through and name them, but I really don't know. Like, scary, 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 scary... Iron, the guy looks like an iron golem, dragon, scary, scary, uh, um, what is it, ghast, um, kraken, I don't know, grinch, which, there we go, we got all ten going on right now, but as I do in every single episode is apples, are the golden notch apples, which used to be able to craft it by, um, gold blocks around it, but now you actually have to find them, which is super dumb in my opinion, but whatever, I hate minecraft nerfs. And then there is a creeper head that you may have to use, which is a um, creeper. Um, when you kill a creeper with a supercharged creeper, which is a creeper hit by lightning. Super rare occurrence. I'll be honest, it's crazy expensive. But half these banners, half you guys that use these banners have, like, are using some kind of, like, online thing where you can get creeper heads easy. Or you're doing it in creative. But if you're, for those of you who are not, it's going to be a little expensive. But still, if you really, really, really like the banner... I personally think it's worth it. Another thing, as I always do, um, I, I put this in every episode, and people are like, dude, why do you do this? And, oops, moment. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me. There we go. Um, you always are like, why do you do this? Everybody knows you can do this, but nope, not everyone. So this is the final banner. This is the base color. So if you take the base color, obviously the base color may be different depending on the banner. It looks like a lot of them are black. You do the base color, and you do your final banner, and you can duplicate it. Um, you can do that infinitely with your base color banner. So that's just a one really quick tip that you guys probably knew, but for those guys who didn't, congratulations, you learned something from good old Bearzilla's video. It's not every day you learn something from me, I'll be honest. But without further ado, let us begin. So first off, we have this banner. I'm not going to even know what it is. Scary banner number one, I guess. You're going to need the black base banner. And then you're going to do a banner and bone me like this. By the way, this represents a crafting table in case you were confused. Um, a couple of you guys always wonder. So there you go. Just like that. And you will get this banner. An Oxide Daisy red dye with your banner. You will get this. Um, your banner, vines and red dye. You will get this. Your banner, red dye on the top. You will get this. Your banner and um, red dye in the middle. I don't know why I don't have the banner in here. Mistakes were made, so there you go, there and there, and you will get this, and then your banner with red dye, all like this, and you will get your scary little banner. I'm sorry about those little mistakes, it tends to happen. Kind of in a rush today, but we will get these going nevertheless. So, second banner, we have this thing. I'm going to tell you right now, I made this in my uh, multiplayer world with on Chaos Craft, and this looks amazing on a shield. So, if you're making a shield or an Optifine cape, this cape, this thing looks amazing. You can change the blue to green, personally, that's my favorite. But I wanted to show it in a different color, as I have showed a tutorial on how to make this before. So, for this banner, you're going to need a black base banner. You're going to need a banner and white dye, like so. Like that, and you'll get this. Your banner and red dye, you will get this. A banner and white dye all around with your with your banner, of course, and you will get this. And then your banner in the middle, surrounded by lapis, and you will get your awesome little thing. Here, let's go put it on a shield real quick. Um, oh man, oh man, time's ticking. Um, by the way, if you guys want to see a specific banner, I do have it linked, or I should have it linked in the description. So if you guys are like drive getting driven crazy by what I'm doing, there you go. It looks pretty stinking cool. It looks just like a little mouth, and it, I love it so much. It's so perfect. All right, so let us continue. Do, 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 do. So next we have this kind of like angry face banner, and I don't know. It looks semi like an angry Charizard, <laughs> simply because it's orange. So for the angry Charizard, you're going to need a light blue base banner. Almost positive this is light blue. Yes, it is light blue. You're going to do your banner with ink sex on the bottom. You'll get this. Your banner and orange dye in the middle. You will get this. 
Your banner and bone meal and vines. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Your banner and orange dye. There you go. Your banner. Um, bone meal on the bottom. I always get bone meal in the ink sacks. I can't say it immediately. I don't know why it doesn't stick in my brain. And you'll get this. And then your banner and orange dye all around. And there you go. You got your angry Charizard banner. Um, pretty neat. Pretty cool. Neat. <laughs> Um, now this thing looks really scary. I hate the faces that are like, you know, not like this one's obviously angry and this one's obviously angry and that one's just creepy. But this one, look at it. It's like, I don't even know. It's so scary. I, I don't know. This is probably the scariest of the banners that or the wither one right there. I mean the gas one. So for this one, you're going to need a black base banner. <laughs> Pretty kind of obvious given its color. You're going to need a creeper head. So it is expensive one with the white bone meal. With these ones that require creeper heads, I suggest you build it in creative first, just so I don't mess up. I don't think I have the recipe wrong, but there's that one in a hundred chance that I did, so be sure with these expensive ones to test it in creative first. So you'll get this. Your banner and red dye. I forgot to put the banners in here, but whatever. Just put your banner wherever with red dye. You'll get this. Your banner and ink sacks like this. Once again, your banner can go any of these slots. None of these slots actually matter where you put your banner. You'll get this. You're in your banner in a bone ink sack and an oxide daisy and you will get your really really scary blank expression face <laughs> pretty awesome pretty cool all right let's see what we got going next iron golem is what i'm going to call it but it looks really really cool i love it so much so for the iron golem you're going to need a black base banner you're going to need your banner and uh, bone meal like so you will get this your banner and ink sacks all around the top you will get this your banner, um, bone meal, and a wither skeleton skull, you'll get this. Your banner and ink sacks all around, you will get this. Your banner and a creeper head, with your, of course, your banner and an ink sack, oh my gosh, words, but well, whatever, you can see it right there. And there you go, you got your final little banner. I really want to test out what some of these look on shields, but I'm not going to waste your guys' time. Um, be sure to check it out in creative if you want to see, because these may not always work in on shields, but they a lot of the time do. So next we have a dragon. Um, I have made this banner in the past. I don't know how many episodes ago it was, but since it's been so long since I made one of these banner episodes, I don't really, you know, I mean, like who who knows? <laughs> so for the dragon banner, you're gonna need a blue base banner. You're gonna do a vines with a lime green dye. You'll get this. Your banner in lapis all over this side. You'll get this. Your banner oxide daisy and yellow dye. You'll get this. Your banner in lime green dye in the middle. You will get this. Your banner and um, lapis like this. There you go. You will get this. And then your banner, a golden notch apple and lime green dye, and you will get your dragon. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I hate you, new golden apple. I wish they would unnerf you. <laughs> it was not even that. Ex it was super expensive to begin with. And then they made it just rare. Why? I don't know. So now we have this really cool. Look at the detail in this thing. It's pretty stinking crazy. I love it. So, for this really cool scary ghast face, you're gonna need a black base banner. You're gonna need an oxide daisy and light blue dye with your banner, and you'll get this. A banner and red dye in the middle, you'll get this. Your banner and bone meal all over the top, you'll get this. Your banner, bone meal, and a wither skeleton skull, you'll get this. Banner, a creeper head, and um, bone meal, you'll get this. Your banner, bone meal, and vines, and there you go. You got your really, really cool gas head. Now, I want to see if this works with a shield. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do it right now. I wonder, can you copy over shields? No, you can't. Um, one minute. Sorry for the delay. Once again, in the description, there's a quick hop. So, whatever. I want to see if this works. What, what does this look like? Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. That's pretty terrifying in all honesty. It's obviously very different like pixel wise, but that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good shield. All right, let's see what we got going next. All right, we have the Kraken taking down a boat thing. I love this thing. The first thing I saw, it was perfect. So you're going to need a light blue base banner. You're going to surround it by a bone meal like so. You'll get this. Your banner and cocoa beans on the bottom. You'll get this. Your banner, light blue dye, and a vine, you will get this. Your banner, cactus green dye, and the um, apple, golden notch apple, of course. 
you'll get this like s island and then you need to add the sea with loppies with your banner and there you go you got your cool little kraken banner it's actually no i was gonna say it's cheap but there's the golden notch apple never mind so now we have this really cool Grinch. I think this, it looks like a Grinch to me. So we're going to call it the Grinch. So for the Grinch, you're going to need a white base banner. You're going to need a, another creeper head and a bone meal. I mean, not a bone meal, an ink sack. You'll get this. Your banner and cactus green die on the bottom. You'll get this. Your banner and bone meal like so. You'll get this. Banner, cactus green die all around like so. You'll get this. Cactus green die on the bottom with your banner. Boom. That actually looks like a T-Rex or something. And then bone meal, I mean, not bone meal, my goodness, cactus green dye all around the top with your banner, and you got your Grinch. Alright, oh man, I'm tempted to try all these with the shield, but we're not going to. But here you go, your Grinch banner. So last but not least, we have our witch banner. I showed this in my very first banner video, I think, so kind of hype in that. May look a little different though, I think that one had a crown. Maybe, maybe not. So for the witch, you're going to need a red base banner. You're going to need ink sacks like so. There you go. Banner and gray dye in the middle. You will get this. Banner and red dye in the middle. Boom. Banner, ink sack, and a creeper head. You will get this little thing. And then red dye on the top. You will get this. And then a light gray dye with a withered skeleton skull with your banner. And there you go. You got your witch. But guys, that is it for this episode. Let's go like I always do and fly to these things. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smack that like bucket, bu 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 like, like bucket. I mean, you can smack the like bucket if you have one, but be sure to smack that like button if you do enjoy, as that always tells me if you want to see more of these episodes or not. But guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. My name is Berzilla. Bye-bye. Oh no, I destroyed it.